teased. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have my full WWE Survivor Series 2018 predictions. You know, a lot of controversy surrounding this show. We had last-minute replacements. We had people filling in. We had some late ch title changes that just totally caught me off guard as a bunch of epicness. I was looking forward to this pay-per-view a lot, and now I'm kind of looking forward to it a little bit more, honestly, just because of all the changes and the craziness that's gone on. I'm actually ready to see what goes down here guys but you guys know how we do i'm going to take you guys through the entire card give my full predictions on what's going to happen at the show what probably should happen in my opinion if i was booking it and my thoughts on the feuds and thus far taking place so let's go ahead and get straight into it so start things off with the Cruiserweight Championship match, guys, between Buddy Murphy and Mustafa Ali. We do not yet have our Mustafa Ali Elite, and we don't have a Buddy Murphy just yet. Need to get some customs or something made of those two guys, because I love them. But I think Buddy Murphy will win here. I would love for him to put the title on Mustafa Ali. I think that he's worked very hard to get better and better. He's an absolute baller. He is the Seth Rollins of 205 Live, and easily one of my favorite wrestlers in the entire company. So I would say Mustafa should win, but I'm going to go with Buddy Murphy. I just think that uh, that's going to happen. And I hope we get a great match out of these guys. Both can go absurdly well. So uh, let's just hope they tear it down in a great matchup. Next up, guys, we have the 5-on-5 five -five Survivor Series Tag Team Elimination Match with five teams from Raw taking on five teams from SmackDown. And this is honestly just a cluster F right here, guys. I mean, my God. Uh, this is just a way to get every team on the show. I don't expect much out of this match. I mean... Uh, with the tag teams and everything, it could be a good match. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I, I, I don't. I, I'm, I'm interested to see how it goes, but I'm not putting too much uh, hype into it. I'm not, you know what I'm saying. I'm not going into it with high hopes. But anyways, on Team Raw, we have Bobby Roode and Chad Gable, the tag team that is just uh, completely like. If they push them right, it'd probably be a good tag team. Both men just deserve way better. The Ascension, who they literally fought 80 weeks in a row, so they're tag teaming now. They're they're on each other's team now, but they've literally wrestled every week on Monday Night Raw. We have the Revival, we have the Lucha House Party, which is Lynch Dorado, Kaliso, and Grand Metalik. And then we have, uh, who else we got in there? Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, the B Team. And then they're taking on Team SmackDown, which consists of the Usos, the New Day, Sanity, Bullet Club, or The Club, and the Colognes. Did you even know the Colognes were still employed, guys? My God. Um, I think that Team SmackDown is going to win just because they have more credible tag teams. They have the Usos, they have the New Day, they have the Club. It's just, uh, I think that hands down that uh, Team SmackDown should win this matchup, and hopefully it's a good one. I, I, I hate that, you know, the Usos aren't on the opposite team, but we do get the Revival and possibly Bobby Roode and Chad Gable interacting, you know, with the Usos and New Day and Club. So it should be pretty entertaining, uh, but uh, again, I'm not going into it with too much thought. But uh, I'm going to go with Team SmackDown in this uh, crazy matchup. Next up, guys, we have the first champion versus champions matchup, and it is the tag team matchup. We have the Raw Tag Team Champions, AOP, Akam, and Rezar, taking on The Bar, Cesaro, and Sheamus. And, of course, you know the Big Bad Show is going to be there to back them up. This is two heels going head-to-head -head here, so it should be an interesting matchup. You know, the AOP did capture the Raw Tag titles from The Shield, um, or just Seth Rollins, for that matter. You know, they just completely smashed him there, uh, even though Seth looked good in defeat there. Uh, but this should be interesting. I think that AOP needs to win here. You know, they just won the tag titles. And uh, I think that since they're fresh faces on Monday Night Raw, not that fresh, though. They've been called up forever now. They need to get this victory here. I think it's very important that they beat the bar. I think they need to look very strong. And they need to be standing tall at the end of this. I think they need to take out the bar and Big Show. All three of them need to be laid down. And uh, the, the, the AOP needs to definitely win here. I'm going to go with AOP winning just because it makes the most sense. And the Raw Tag Team Champions will win the first of the Champion versus Champion matchups. Next up, we have the Women's 5-on-5 Survivor Series Elimination Matchup between Raw and SmackDown. Representing Team Raw, we have Mickie James, Nia Jax, Tamina, Natalya, and Ruby Riot with Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, and Sarah Logan. And then they're taking on Team SmackDown, obviously, which consists of Carmella, Naomi, Sonya Deville, Asuka, and to be announced. I Honestly, guys, I haven't really been paying attention to the women's side of the stuff, so I don't know why uh, SmackDown doesn't have all their spots. I believe it was supposed to be Charlotte, but then she had to fill in for Becky and all that nonsense, so I'm not exactly sure here, but uh, I think it's dumb how you have like 100 people on Raw's side. 
That's kind of weird. Uh, no Bailey, no Sasha Banks, no Ember Moon. None of that trash. I understand that, you know, Alexa Bliss is the captain or whatever, but I still think it's kind of dumb. Uh, Bailey and Sasha and Ember just left off here is absolutely insane. But I don't know what to think of this matchup. I mean, Asuka's dead now. They've totally killed her. I think she needs to uh, win this thing in fashion. So I'm going with Team SmackDown here. I think that Asuka will be the last one standing tall for Team SmackDown. And I think that... Uh I need to get myself a Carmella figure, and I need to get we need to get the rest of these women in here so I can fill out these rosters, but that's what I'm going with, Team SmackDown, Asuka standing tall. Next up, we had what was probably the most anticipated match, in my opinion, was going to be the Champion versus Champion match between Ronda Rousey and my girl Becky Lynch. Stone Cold Becky Lynch just killing it, everybody jumping on the bandwagon. Now, I've always been a huge Becky Lynch fan, everybody trying to come over here now, but... Uh, she was absolutely on fire on Monday night, but you guys know that Nia Jax broke her nose and gave her a concussion. So now she is eliminated from participating at Survivor Series, and Charlotte is going to take over. And now we're getting this dream match, well, dream match in Vince's eyes. Uh, you know, everybody thought this was going to be the main event of WrestleMania 35. It still can be, obviously, but um, everybody thought that Ronda Rousey would go on to, you know, keep winning the, her championship matches, go undefeated all the way to Mania 35. Charlotte would win the Royal Rumble, and then we would have this matchup to main event, you know, first ever women's main event of WrestleMania, yada, yada, yada. And that would be this match right here. But now we're getting it at Survivor Series. No titles on the line, just a regular singles match. And hopefully this thing delivers. You know, I'm not going in with high expectations. I was really looking forward to Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch, obviously. But we did get this matchup instead. I think it'll still be solid. Obviously, Charlotte's one of the greatest talents in the world. Ronda Rousey on her way up. The legitimacy to her name and everything should be very interesting to see here if they can carry a good match, and I'm definitely looking forward to the result here, I, which I am happy, though, that this keeps Becky looking strong. We don't have to see Becky suffer defeat, and we don't have to see any crap to Ronda as well, so it kind of works out um, in a, a benefit to it, so uh, I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey, obviously. I just think that's the way this is going to go, unless... Maybe, maybe this adds to the storyline. Maybe uh, Ronda wins here and then Charlotte wins the Royal Rumble and gets her rematch at Mania. So that could easily be set up here. So going Ronda Rousey for the win for Team Raw. Next up, we have another champion versus champion matchup. It is my boy Monday Night Rollins taking on Knock America, and I think that everyone's looking forward to this matchup. Obviously, Shinsuke is a wonderful talent. Seth Rollins is obviously one of the greatest in the world as well, so this matchup should be amazing, and I, I am most definitely looking forward to this one. I think they're both going to get in the ring and tear it down, burn it down. Freaking salute to America, guys. I think I'm looking forward to this matchup a ton. I'm going to go with Knock America winning here, and I, I know that it sounds crazy. I think Seth Rollins really needs this win a lot more. However, I think that Dean Mean Machine Ambrose is going to get himself involved. You know, they keep this storyline going. I think Dean Machine is going to get in there, hit a dirty deed, cost him the, the match there, and Seth Rollins will end up losing to Shinsuke Nakamura in a great one. So hopefully they go for a little bit, they give him a great match, and then let Dean Ambrose get the heel heat on him come in there and ruin a great matchup and call Seth Rollins. So I'm going to go with Knock America kick, uh, picking up the win, and Seth Rollins still looking good in a great matchup. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have a dream matchup of sorts. We have another champion versus champion match. The brand new WWE champion who defeated AJ Styles on SmackDown Live, Daniel Bryan, reclaimed the WWE title, guys, and it totally caught me off guard. I did not expect this at all. He turns heel on AJ Styles. He turns heel, so we have a heel Daniel Bryan taking out AJ Styles. He has the WWE Championship, and the opponent that he has been wanting to fight for so long, he has been wanting to get a match with Brock Lesnar. This match has been, you know, four years in the making, and I, I am ready to see this one go down right here. I am most definitely looking forward to this matchup. It is going to be intense. Uh, I was I was looking forward to AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar round number two, but this this is even better, I think, guys. I think that these guys are going to tear it down. You have the David versus Goliath, literally, and um, I don't think Daniel Bryan's going to pull it off. I would love to see it happen because Brock has had his 500-day reign. He has looked like a monster. He has looked like a beast. And up until this point, I wanted AJ Styles to dethrone Brock here at Survivor Series. So hopefully they give the nod to Daniel Bryan. I want to see Daniel Bryan slay the beast here, and I want to see him come out on top, make it a believable match. They've done it before with AJ Styles. I hate the notion that you know, Finn Balor can't beat Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar's 800 feet taller and he'll crush him or whatever. 
That's absolute bull crap. This is professional wrestling. This isn't the UFC. This isn't a street fight, guys. This legitimately needs to happen in wrestling. We need to see smaller guys be able to overcome big guys. That's the fun matchups. You know, you, if you got two guys in the ring that can make it believable, then that's that's all that matters. Like, as long as it looks believable and, you know what I'm saying, work the body part, have some near falls, make it look, have the crowd get behind them. I think this matchup could be epic, and I'm excited for it. So hopefully Daniel Bryan comes out on top. I'm going to just screw it. I'm predicting Daniel Bryan to win just because I want to see it happen. And I think, you know, he just won the title. Why not make him look even stronger, legitimize his WWE title reign? He's been after that thing forever. He should not lose here. He needs a win. I'm going with Daniel Bryan in an epic clash of David and Goliath. And last but not least, guys, we have our main event, the men's 5-on-5 five -five Survivor Series elimination match between Team Raw, which consists of Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre, Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, Bobby Lashley, and of course, the Captain Trash Corbin taking on Team SmackDown, which is The Miz, Shane McMahon, Rey Mysterio, Samoa Joe, and a replacing Daniel Bryan, Jeff Hardy. I would have liked to have seen Randy Orton in this matchup. But, you know, we can't always have what we want. Jeff Hardy did qualify, and he is replacing Daniel Bryan since he is the new WWE champion and taking on Brock Lesnar. This matchup should be interesting. I think that last year's match was a bit disappointing. You know, a lot of guys got eliminated pretty freaking quickly. We had John Cena eliminating Finn Balor. We had uh, some cool little... Uh, spots in the ring with some interactions between Bobby Roode and Triple H. We had, you know, the Braun Strowman Triple H storyline that went absolutely nowhere, really. And uh, we had a lot of crazy stuff going on last year, but this year, hopefully, you know, we got Rey Mysterio, we got Je uh, Jeff Hardy, we have Finn Balor back, we got some Dolph Ziggler in there. And it should be interesting. There's a lot of storylines intertwined in here. We have Miz and Daniel Bryan sort of continuing. Shane McMahon and the Miz still continuing. We got Trash Corbin and, you know, the Raw versus SmackDown feud, obviously. You got Braun Strowman and all of his stuff with Trash Corbin. And you got Finn Balor mixed up in there. So there's a lot of cool stuff that can come out of this. So I'm waiting to see, you know, how this match goes. I'm not, again, going into it with too much hype. Again, I'm not going to put it up on a pedestal because I don't want to be disappointed, but I'm going to go into it with an open mind. Hopefully we get, you know, a fresh matchup. Obviously, Monday Night Raw, I believe, has won two years in a row, so can they continue the streak? I don't think so. I think Shane McMahon's going to win here. Uh, you know, they had him sort of like, he's acting kind of heelish. He's getting booed by the crowd. He won the World Cup tournament, which was absolute BS. And Monday Night Raw is trying to uh, avenge that loss in the World Cup tournament. So I think that it would be best for Shane McMahon and Team SmackDown to win again. I think that Team Raw may either implode or possibly, it seems SmackDown could implode as well. But I think that Team SmackDown is going to get the win. And um, I honestly don't see how. I mean, Bobby Lashley, Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor, Dolph Ziggler, really good team over there. I mean, SmackDown has a great team, but Shane McMahon at the forefront, I don't know, man. He is the best in the world, though, guys. He could single-handedly take down Monday Night Raw with the swing of those boxing punches. But I'm going to go with Team SmackDown picking up the win. It's sort of uh, a shock factor, I think. I think SmackDown's going to win because I don't think anybody really gives them credit here. So I'm going to go with Team SmackDown getting the win and ending the two-year streak of Monday Night Raw here at Survivor Series. Hopefully we get some big spectacles that happen because usually we have some crazy things go on at a big four pay-per-view so hopefully that happens guys but that pretty much does it for my survivor series 2018 predictions thank you so very much for watching if you guys would like to go ahead and comment down below your predictions for survivor series who do you want to win team raw or smackdown team blue team red let me know down in the comment section below subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe and wwe figure related videos and i will see you guys in the next video thank you